Today, we're going over exactly how to get your biceps wider, and I know what you're thinking. No! When it comes to growing your biceps, the frustrating part is that some people can get away with putting little to no thought, a couple exercises at the end of back day, training brachialis once a month, and they grow. Take Adam, for instance. Although he has minimal knowledge of how to actually train and he's completed roughly three workouts in his life, you can tell his biceps will never be thin. Now, you can argue that that's just from years of chugging Krispy Kremes like wieners have formed some sort of synthol in his arms, but regardless, you can tell that width will never be his issue. Coronary heart disease will be. Here's the issue. To actually develop width, you need to equally hit your long head, your short head, and the often neglected muscle that sits beneath your biceps and protrudes on the lateral side your brachialis. And even if it's not an underdeveloped piece of shit, I guarantee you're still training it wrong. There's no shame. Turns out we're all screwing it up. Take an exercise that we all love, the cross body hammer curl. Now, the reason we do it that way is we're trying to limit the involvement of the biceps brachii at the very least, the short head, but the problem is, if you check out this study where they strapped several people's biceps up to an EMG machine, had them do a concentration curl, and they compared a supinated grip to a hammer grip, rotating and pronated grip, turns out the goddamn hammer curl activated their biceps even more than the supinated grip. Now, obviously that's not a direct one-to-one -one because they weren't comparing cross-body hammer curls and they weren't measuring the actual activation of the brachialis, but it does give us some indication that we have no idea what the fuck we're doing. But there is some good news because they showed you can limit the involvement of your long and short head if you take a pronated grip, which makes sense when you see what happens when you pronate your wrist. Based upon the fact that your biceps brachii, your long and short head, both inserted the radial tuberosity, the forearm bone on your thumb side. Looks like I'm fucking holding his hand. When your wrist is pronated, it lengthens the brachii at the distal end. So no matter how high or hard you contract up, it doesn't matter. It's still in a slightly stretched position, hence why your biceps look stupid when you flex like this. But that doesn't mean go sit in the corner of the gym and do reverse grip concentration curls because you'll look like even more of a creep. And there's a better way. And if you pair that information with another study where they checked the activation of all three muscles of the bicep by having somebody hold a weight out in front and rotate their wrist, again, pronated grip, fucking one. But that also means, based upon the last case study, you have to be conscious of how you're doing the exercise in relation to gravity, meaning a reverse grip curl is not as good as a reverse grip curl with your elbows slightly forward. So now that you have an idea of how to train them, the next question is, how much? If you trust the science, then you know there's a threshold that you need to hit for hypertrophy to get that muscle to grow. It's roughly around 10 sets. But when you realize that if you want a wider bicep, that means 10 sets for your long head, short head, and your brachialis, you shit your pants a little bit because that's 30 fucking sets. It should be pretty obvious to you now why yours suck. The four sets you tack on the end of your back day or even the entire arm day where you do 10 sets, eight of which are probably short head, are not gonna cut it. What I'm saying is if that's how you train, then you're gonna have a harder time growing your biceps than you would trying to convince your girlfriend that the herpes you gave her came from a witch's kiss. The witch's kiss. When you're sitting on the toilet taking a shit and your penis touches the underside of the toilet where all the pubic hair and pee is, thus, getting the witch's kiss. Now there are some exceptions. If you're genetically blessed, then they don't need as much work. Or if you have an incredible mind-muscle connection and you can more efficiently activate each muscle as you train, then they need much less. But that's not you. And I don't think everybody needs 30 sets because you can't completely isolate each muscle. There's a lot of overlap. But with that being said, I'm not against it. And in fact, if your biceps suck, you should do it, but do it intelligently. Split it up into two separate days. So for example, if you're somebody that has a dedicated arm day, then I would try to exclusively target short head and brachialis. Then after shoulders or my personal favorite chest, I would hit that long head and then brachialis again. Just make sure you give yourself at least 48 hours in between so you don't interfere with muscle protein synthesis. So let's run through an example day of each one of those workouts. That way you have something to take action on and you're not just sitting on your balls. First, I'd start out with a unilateral cable curl up nice and high. That way I can control the external rotation of my shoulder and really drive that contraction into the short head. From there, I'm grabbing a bench, angling it slightly back, opening up those shoulders and doing dumbbell curls. From there, since I'm fairly inconsiderate, I'm gonna stay on that bench, set it up like a preacher curl, drive that contraction into the short head by really exaggerating and opening up that shoulder. Then right into concentration curls, but make sure you exaggerate the supination of your wrist even more than you normally would, because that's how you localize the contraction in that short head. As you can see, I like a lot of unilateral work because I didn't discover my other hand until I was 17. By that point, it was too late. The damage and the unequal development done from those 45 minute showers as a kid had already taken place. And for the brachialis, now that we figured out everything we're doing wrong, it's pretty easy to hit. You're gonna grab a straight bar and do a 45 degree angle drag. From there, we're gonna do a reverse grip curl, but again, elbows slightly in front to increase tension on that brachialis, and then wrap it up with the drag curl. All those exercises are back to back to back. There's four sets of them, and if you don't feel like you discovered the secret to growing your brachialis and getting wider biceps after that, 
go eat a and for the long head brachialis day, I'd actually start by hitting your brachialis. First with a reverse grip straight bar curl and make sure you lean back to drive that tension to the lateral side and then stay there and go right into drag curls. Last, we're gonna bring back that cross body hammer curl, but this time take a pronated grip and you can instantly see the difference on these. As you go in the eccentric portion, that brachialis lights up and this is painful. So if you're somebody that loves sucking those little baby dicks, this one's for you. And for the long head, let's bring back a classic and start out with 21s. Now, obviously we're gonna do more because we're six, so we're gonna do 30. Start out with 30 reps at the top, then we'll go right into the full range of motion, that way you can actually get them and you don't just sit there dry humping air, and then we'll do the bottom portion. And then we're gonna hop on the bench and do an incline dumbbell curl, but I want you to play around with the angle of the bench a little bit because for me, I like it even more extreme. I feel a better connection and the research backs it up. The more stretch your bicep is, the more it's gonna target that long head. And then we're gonna finish up with the cables. First with a 45 degree angle rope drag curl and then flip around, grab a single handle and mimic that incline curl. I'll be honest with you, this video was just an excuse to use this whiteboard because since I bought it, the only thing I've done is drawn a bunch of dicks. But I will say I'm getting pretty damn good. This is where I started. And this is today. If you need more help building muscle, the new program drops in two weeks. And if you haven't bought all the previous ones, then karma's gonna get you. It's only a matter of time before you end up choking on one of those little baby dicks.